So let's begin. I have been teaching Excel for more than 10 years now, and I always felt kind of stuck when I tried to explain to someone what pivot tables was. So all I can say in words is that it's a data manipulation tool. It is also a data reporting tool. It is summarization tool. And none of that may mean very much. I always felt that it is much easier to show what it is rather than to talk about it. So I want to show you right away what pivot tables are. I have a data set and I'm going to zoom in so that you can see the structure of that data set. This data set is good for pivot tables and I would like to draw your attention to why it is good for pivot tables. First of all, it has a column title for every column, department month amount. The column titles are in single cells only, not in multiple cells. There are no merged cells. There are no empty columns or empty rows. This is a standalone data set. And there's no junk around this data set. I have a nice contiguous range of data, range filled with data. So I want to create a pivot table right away. And to do that is really easy. You can click anywhere inside your nice standalone data set. And then simply click on insert. And on the left hand side of the ribbon, there's a single button called pivot table. We are inserting a pivot table. And uh, here we have several options. We, ha we see the select a table or range, and we have marching ends in our data. The marching ends are marching around our data set. The new worksheet is selected. And really, all we can do at this point is just click OK. And now it's interesting what happens. What happens, a new worksheet was created. It's called Sheet 1. And also, this thing here is called the Pivot Table Object, which is kind of a separate thing inside your spreadsheet, inside, inside your Sheet 1. Also notice the contextual tabs on the ribbon, Analyze and Design. They're called Pivot Table Tools. That's where you will find all of the different tools and uh, options for the Pivot Table, Analyze and Design. Also, on the right-hand side, you will notice a thing called Pivot Table Fields. Uh, sometimes it is called the Pivot Table Builder. And that's all we really have. If I, if I click anywhere outside of the pivot table object, all of the contextual tools disappear. If I click anywhere inside the pivot table object, then you will see that the contextual tabs on the ribbon and the pivot table builder tool are back. So I'm going to manipulate it a little bit so that it's easier to explain what it is. I'm going to click on Analyze and uh, click on Options for this Pivot Table 1. And here what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on Display, and I will turn on the classic Pivot Table layout. This is what a Pivot Table object used to look like, and it can still look like that. In the previous versions of Excel, it looked like this. So it is just easier to explain what Pivot Table's anatomy is. So what we have here are four drop zones. This largest drop zone here, drop value fields here. This is where you normally drop a field which you would like to calculate in some sort, summarize in some sort, perhaps sales data. And in the pivot table builder on the right hand side, you may notice there's a, an area with four boxes right there and one of them is called values. The values box is actually corresponding to the drop value fields here. 
and we used to call it the data drop zone. This is where we drop the data in order to calculate. We also have the drop row fields here area in the pivot table. And in the pivot table builder, we see the rows box. That is the corresponding box. And we have drop column fields here area. And we have columns box in the pivot table fields tool. There's additional area, drop report filter fields here. And there's a corresponding box on the right hand side in the pivot table builder called filters. So let's see how it works. Here, what we see, we see the different pivot table fields, and those fields are nothing more but the columns from our data set. If I click back on the data set, we have columns department, month, amount. And if I look at the available fields in the pivot table tool, those are department, month, and amount. So I can technically do it the old way. I can drag department, take the department field, and drag it into the row fields area here. And uh, it is added to the row labels area. Each department in this case is only shown once, even though in the original data I have repeating values for the department. Notice that as I was dragging and dropping, uh, and as I finished dragging and dropping, in the rows box on the right hand side, we have the department field. So I didn't need to drag and drop into the pivot table itself. All I needed to do is really to click and put a check mark to the field that I'm interested in. I'm going to click on the amount field. And notice what happened to the amount field. The pivot table has changed. It was added to the data area but the data area became a little bit small. And notice that the values box on the right hand side got the sum of amount item. So what we have now, let me zoom in a little bit. So we, what we have now, we have a report of uh, the amount of sales by department. How easier can it be? Let me add month also. I'm going to click on month and uh, sure enough, it, it is added to the row labels area in the rows box. And the pivot table becomes a kind of an outline type report. This is a report by department by month. Department first and then each month. And then we have uh, the next, we have a total here, subtotal. And the next department finance, and we have each month. If I wanted to change that, if I wanted instead to have a report by month and by, then by department, I simply need to click and drag here to change the position in the rows, row label area. Let me resize this part. If I look at the report now, it doesn't make any sense because we have month, December, and then we have a department, and then we have December total. And then we have June, and we have a department. So it probably made more sense to have a report by department and by month. How about I take month and drop it into column labels area? And all of a sudden, I have a report by department and by month. And it seems to me that my data only has each department data for just one month. So this is not a very interesting report. How about if I just want a report by month only? I can completely drag, remove the department. If I move it anywhere outside of the pivot table fields, then I don't have a department field. I can take the month field and drop it into the row labels area. And now my report is a revenue by month summarized by month. And notice I click outside of the pivot table and all of the pivot table tools disappear if I click back again and you know that they pop up again. So that is our first pivot table really and um, I would like to continue in the next lecture uh, where we will discuss some interesting additional options. 
I will see you in the next segment.